Hi Aries, welcome to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be your daily reading for Sunday, December 13th. Let's see what's going on with Aries. Okay, we have two cards that want to come out together as your heart of the matter. We have the Page of Presence and the Ace of Potions. So today we're going to be talking about your journey, starting something new, learning something new, most likely a skill, something tangible that you can translate very easily into the real world. And the Ace of Potions representing the Ace of Cups. So it's something that's like a new desire of yours, a new um, emotional outlet. Let's take a look at what your challenge is. What challenge are my Aries facing in bringing this new emotional outlet into the realm of the real? We have Queen of Presence. Okay, so you feel like there's more resources that you need to accumulate before being ready to pursue this goal, or you just don't feel ready in some other way. You're wanting to feel... Um, like you've mastered it a little bit better before really taking the first step. Let's take a look at what your focus is. What does Aries have their focus squarely on? King of Needles in reverse. This is the King of Swords in reverse. So you're either not wanting to rush things or you are. It's one of the two. Let's clarify that. King of Needles in reverse is all about um, proceeding without all of the information. Okay, so clarifying the King of Needles, we have the Seven of Needles. That's the Seven of Swords. So you are wanting to perhaps cut corners to get where you need to be. Now, uh, let's see if that's a good idea. Should Aries be cutting corners in order to get where they need to be? Seven of Wands, Seven of Candles. So yeah. We've got two sevens in a row. That means you're listening to your um, intuition here. There's a, a revelation that you've received somehow. And you're acting on that instinct. You're wanting to take a stand because there's something, uh, some, um, like you're going through some sort of metaphorical trial by fire and you're really wanting to demonstrate um what it is that's inside of you. It feels like it's more important to get it out than to um, than to master it before you start unleashing this this newness into the world. In the recent past leading you up to this, we have the Queen of Needles in reverse. So you have been in this um, royal royal swords reversed mindset already. You're you're sort of graduating from accumulating information to acting on it, going from the queen to the king. Um, but still with this feeling of I'm going to do it in my own timing, not how anyone else says I need to do it. Let's take a look at the energy of the environment. Okay, we have uh, three cards that came out together. We have the Six of Needles, the World, and the Ace of Needles. So more the Needles or the Sword Suit is all about the mind. It's all about thinking. So a lot of this topic right now that Spirit wants to talk about is your mindset. Um, so let's see. Six of Needles is about moving toward what makes you feel calm, moving toward what makes you feel stable and steady, specifically away from um, things that don't make you feel calm, things that don't make you feel steady. Um, the world represents the end of a major cycle and the ace is the newness that comes thereafter. So what's really being um, promoted here by the energy of the environment is you taking this journey toward a calmer version of your life, a more steady, more stable version of your life where the, the unsteadiness that you've been through in the recent past is something that you can put behind you and close the chapter on for good and really embrace something in this situation that's going to allow you to um, 
kind of build upon a new idea. Let's see what's coming up for you in the near future. What's going to happen next? Okay, five of potions. So there's a stage that you're going to be going through to wrap up this cycle that involves facing some things that have hurt you. Um, not in the manner of reliving it or revisiting it um, or re-embodying it, but in a way, because we have so many swords here going on, this is really telling me that it's, it's about just addressing it so that you feel that it's done, so that there's nothing lingering on that you're bringing with you. These things that you used to hold on to that have been, what do I want to say? What does this feel like? It feels like they've been your kind of like pet pains. It, it feels like these are the, the, the things that have just felt like they're part of you. And you, through this closing of the chapter, starting of this new cycle, um, what's going to come next? And I think for, for those of you that this is resonating, you're already going to know what I'm talking about here. This is not meant to come as a surprise to you. It's um, If this is your story, this is going to feel like good news to you because you, you will have been working toward this already, wanting to... Um, if there's any way that you feel sorry for yourself, is there? if there's any way that you feel stuck on some something that you've lost, this is something that you're going to have the opportunity to move past very soon. Let's take a look at your surprise energy, something that is going to come and take you by surprise. Something's going to come in and affect this situation. We have the Eight of Needles in reverse. This is more good news, you guys. So this is you or someone else in your situation that you have not been expecting being able to change their mind, being able to um, stop saying it's not possible. These are, these are things that you have either thought about yourself or other people have thought about you that you thought were unchangeable. This is something that's going to come in and, and really shock you. Um, I have the feeling that that's someone else involved in the situation, um, that it's really going to take you by surprise the way in which they're able to come around and behave in a much more positive manner. I think that's going to come out of the transition of energy that you are undertaking individually right now. The other people around you, you're going to see them transform in different ways in the way they interact with you because of the trans the internal transformation you're going through to steady yourself. Let's take a look at the hopes and fears. What are Aries hopes and fears regarding this situation? Yeah, you want to be done with it. We have the Ten of Needles in reverse. You're ready. You're hoping that this is the final doneness. You're, you're hoping that this is the time that you don't have to revisit it again. And look, that is exactly what's available to you, the world. The major ending. This is not lower arcana ending. This is major arcana ending. Let's take a look at the eventual end result. What's going on? as a culmination to this energy for my Aries. Okay, we have two cards that have come out together. We have the Two of Needles in reverse and the Nine of Needles. More more swords energy, more mindset energy. Um, okay, so the Two of Needles in reverse talks about a decision being made. That's the, the point at which the energy is set in motion based on the decision. So it's not just... Um, you know, I'm still mulling it over. This is probably what I'm going to do. This is, it's set in stone as as much as anything can be. Um, and then the, the nine of needles is that um, 
it's the last stage before the 10, which is what you're hoping for. So this is saying you're going to get really close to and almost ready to release this mindset. Now, I am getting for a large portion of you guys that this is about someone very close to you in your situation who their mentality is affecting your day-to-day -day life in a way that is um, somewhat challenging to, to just um, imagine is not there. So I think there's a, there's a choice that's going to affect the mindset of this other individual that you're dealing with getting closer to the stage at which they're, they're ready to let it go or they're ready to change their mind. Okay, so last but not least, let's get you guys some advice. What is the advice for my Aries as they're dealing with these energies? How can Aries best take hold of these energies? Okay, interesting. So we have cups to wrap it up, the, the seven of potions. This is about keeping your options open. This is, I want to say, delighting in the, oh my gosh, they're giving me some cheesy words, <laughs> the cornucopia of opportunity. Um, there's going to be a lot of opportunities coming your way. So as you make this decision, Perhaps it's something along the lines of I'm deciding to open up, to, to be more open to newness, to be more open to the possibilities that exist. Because Seven of Potions as advice is saying there's going to be a lot of opportunity coming your way. Um, and specifically, I feel like the advice here is don't feel like you need to just jump on the first opportunity that comes along. Um, trust that there's going to be options. So take enough time to realize and review and witness what options become available to you before making that decision, okay? Aries, I hope this helped. Um, you guys take care, have a great day, and I will see you all back tomorrow. Bye.